Welcome back to Sailing Garuda, another exciting project in the boatyard, in the lazarette in the boatyard. So today we're working on electrics. Um, got a couple of things that have kind of inspired this. The, the sexy one, of course, is that we've added an additional solar panel drive behind me. I think you can see it there to the um, solar arch now that all of our welding is done, which means that we need to add another charge controller. And frankly, I was kind of running out of room on my electric board, so it was time to redesign the electric board. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water, let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into my sail, away from things I let go. We're gonna do a little bit of a test run today. Um, this is gonna be the electric board and I wanna be able to put epoxy on it in order for it to uh, be at least water resistant. Not that I want water on my electrical board, but I want this to last as long as the equipment that's on top of it. So what we have is some uh, polyester resin, which we found locally. It um, does not come with any directions, but I do know that to activate polyester, uh, resin we use, I think it's called methyl ethyl ketone, maybe that's right, I don't know, it's mech, uh, which is in this vial here and the ratio is one percent to one and a quarter percent mech to resin so we don't know exactly what our cook time is going to be on this so i thought i would test it here before we do anything serious because ultimately we'll make the bimini top uh, out of poly as well so this is going to be a little bit of our test run today we don't really have a way to measure we got a little couple of little marks on our uh on our mixing cup but this is going to be a lot of uh eh, we're going to kind of wing it I'm just gonna put this on pretty liberal. Plywood will soak up a ton. And uh, temperature does have a little bit to do with this and we're in the direct sun and we're in the tropics, so I'm sure that will speed off its kick a little. Assuming I can get it to kick. So what was the working time? Five minutes. Tops, right? So we're gonna have to keep that in mind, like if we were working on a big surface, right? It's gonna cook really fast because that kicked. So if you add less of that stuff, will it go slower? Well, in theory, but you still need it to harden. Yeah, but I mean, you it just got to go in small batches. <laughs> okay. Yes, or I need to mix. I need to mix even less than what I had. So I think what we'll do is we'll let this dry a little. Um, we'll flip it over. This is the board we need to work on anyway. I think we can mix about half that amount. Yeah, you can get this too. That'll be solid. Although it might start smoking. That'll be a solid chunk of fiberglass right there. I don't want to tear out everything because I need, we, we want to continue to service the batteries and keep them in good shape. We want to keep the solar panels running that are running. So I got to kind of strip out what I need to. At the same time, I need to separate the starter from um, the house bank because we're going to use different electrical boards for them now. So we're kind of, yeah, it's a demo day. It's just not 100% demo. You're just not ripping it out. We got to kind of disassemble and keep some things operational till the last minute. So here we go. Okay, that's got to go with us. And these just need to find their um, tag that says Laz Lights. Well, here's all the stuff we're bringing home today. It looks pretty good.
All right. Whew. That's gonna have to be enough for today, I think. Uh, we're attempting to build the panel here in the air conditioning, <laughs> where we can lay it out a whole bunch of different ways. So I don't know how many times we've done this now, 15? But I think we're happy with our layout, at least for now. We're trying to see if the wiring fits and um, easier to do inside. So we're just trying it on a tabletop. Okay, so this looks like a mess at the moment, but everything has kind of been um, disconnected. I put labels kind of where I need to on where stuff is going. I just have kind of a bundle that's uh, looped over the top here. But the main thing is to isolate these two circuits. And I've done a whole lot uh, along the way already, but here is what's remaining. There was an old negative bus bar on the side. There was actually a shunt in here as well, but we removed it. And then we're tracking down every wire that's attached. This is all legacy stuff, but you'll be able to tell some of these, two of these appear to go to house circuits. Um, this one in particular, you can kind of track that back, but that's going to the engine. So I wanna separate starter and house circuits. Um, so that is certainly a project today. And we also have dismantled pretty much every input coming in. So we've had a uh, Victron Orion, a DC to DC trickle charger that could hook up between, or the idea would be to hook it up between our house batteries and our starter battery. We have lithium ion phosphate house batteries. We're currently running just a standard lead um, starter battery. And because we have mixed chemistries, uh, the Orion uh, supports that, but allows us to trickle charge a little bit between the two. We haven't had that installed in, Oh, a long time, over a year, uh, but we've been carrying it on board. So as long as I'm making room on a new panel, I thought I'd, uh, I'd add that as well. So we need to add a new solar charge controller. We need to add the Orion DC to DC charger. And the third cool thing, fingers crossed, we're gonna add wind. Um, we have located a wind generator from our friends on Kaizen and we're having to kind of wire this in so that we have a little bit of monitoring and other things but uh, the charge controller literally is in the turbine but we still need to have switches and breakers and things uh inside anyway we'll get to that as we uh, you know as, as we get a little further in the project but it has to be added to the electric panel this is going to end up being the new panel we made it out of the old panel in fact i cut it in half so that i have a little protection now for anything sliding in the laz lazarette Ultimately, this will be a voltmeter. Show us the volts. That is the breaker for the windlass we had talked about. This is the Orion, and eventually there'll be a switch right here for turning it on and off. There's a remote wire associated with it. And then, of course, we got bus bars for the starter. So none of this is connected to the battery. You can see how far away that is. Um, trying to get the starter circuit together. And what I've added is two buses. Well, the lower bus here was already here. I've added a secondary house bus. This was a little bit of an admin decision. I'll tell you what I was after is just, I would have ended up having to trace down and lengthen every one of those wires. And so what I've done instead is separated it into two buses, which is still accomplishing our, our mission, separating the house from the starter. And then we'll tie those in with the main bus bars using a um, big old four four odd cable so only one mystery left i don't think it's a mystery i just want to look it up and verify it but coming off the bottom of this is a large cable you can see what it's wired right it looks like it's going to the engine block right there so anyway i'm gonna break the book out and just verify that but i'm pretty certain that's an engine ground which would be fine um don't really want to interrupt that uh everything else i think we got a little bit of cleanup for the starter but uh as silly as this is, I'm out of wire, so I gotta swing by, <laughs> pick up some wire, and uh, that's it for the starter side, at least for today. It is hot today. 
So it's been our routine lately. I work in the boat yard until it's just too hot or I'm wringing wet and uh, try to get things wired up. Then we come back to the Airbnb and we wire again. So here's one I've been working on. This will be the main board or for the house rather, the house panel. And I plan to make a lid for it as well. So uh, anyway, evening's kind of winding down now. So we're gonna try to get it installed tomorrow. I don't know how many hours I've got into this board. But uh, anyway, here's Heather, she's uh, making dinner. All right, back in the boat yard, back in the lazarette for another day of wiring and cleanup. So first things first, this may not look neater. I don't know, I'll let you decide. But we've got some zip ties and at least kind of got our harnesses back together, got everything kind of on one side. Um, these are loose right now, that's not where those are gonna go. So I'm gonna try to clean this up just a little bit before we hook it up. But the order of operations today is gonna be starter panel first, then we'll move on to the house and try to get that, uh, that situated as well. I'm out of black two odd cable. I have red and I've got some black uh, electric tape. So I'm gonna make a black cable for the time being. It's really just the color, it's not the connection, but you know, the OCD in me, that'll bother me for a while. Make a black one. It is sweltering. Anyway, no airflow in the lazarette, but here's my update. I don't know how to show this. I guess I'll start with the end. The inverter is on. I'm checking the app and it's showing that it's inverting. We've got a charge signal at least that's showing no power or an energy current coming in, but it is showing current battery voltage 1335, which matches um, sorry, let's get back out, which matches the battery monitor at 13.35. So far, inverter works. Smart shunt is working. House batteries are on. We're gonna test the windlass now. So I need you to turn the switch on inside to test that. Okay, so we got the switches on, the breaker on. She's gonna jig jiggle the switch. You ready? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna interrupt the breaker <laughs> and she's gonna turn off the switch. But at least we know that that windlass is back operational. All right, there's the finished panel. At least finished for now, too hot. So, uh, solar and wind for another day, but at least we got the major uh, major stuff installed. Nice to uh, Nice to get over that milestone, actually. I feel like I should have mentioned this already, but driving in the Dominican Republic is somewhat of an adventure all its own. You never quite know what you're going to see. Well, it's been a few hours and we're back in the boat yard. The, uh, the barnacle sent us an alarm saying that the um, starter battery, it was a low voltage alarm on the starter battery. Don't really know what to pull for here. Don't want to think that maybe the barnacle is not hooked up right. We could check that. We've got a little voltmeter up there. So we're going to see if it's actually low. Maybe we got some leakage on the starter battery. Don't really know. So. Anyway, just being prudent, drove back out to check on it. All right, so got the ladder set up, getting into the laz. You can see right there, that's 12.2. Barnacle says 10.7. Love you, Barnacle. Shame, shame. And that means I hooked something up incorrectly. So I'm gonna just kind of peruse it and see how it's going. Let me do a quick double check. House says 13.32. Um, starter says 12.2. We'll do quickly is open up the uh, the Victron app. 
Yep, 13.31, that's saying 13.32, so that's very, very close. So that seems to be doing okay. Just a barnacle. So, I don't know, let's get into it. This seems to be our culprit. Look, look, loose wires, I think. So, what we're gonna do is get a wrench on here and tighten this dude up, even if it's gonna be really slowly because I don't have a ratchet in here. But I'm gonna try to tighten this thing down and then we're gonna check the barnacle reading again. So the barnacle is still reporting 10.04, but it's not exactly a real-time report. It doesn't need to be real-time. Um, that's not its function. So um, the voltmeter, though, that is attached directly to the battery is reading 12.2, and that hasn't changed. I've got all the switches off. I can't imagine. I don't see anything that would be leaking. I can't really imagine anything else. I think the important thing is nothing's on fire. We're not losing anything. Um, seem to maybe get an erroneous reading on the barnacle, and it might have been just tightening up um, that connection on the bus bar. So what we're gonna do is get, bar well, I turned off the alert and then we're gonna give Barnacle a little bit of time to catch up. Uh, wish I could remember its reporting frequency. It's gotta be like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something like that. So anyway, that's enough for the ride home. Um, we know there's not an emergency, no alarm. We'll just keep monitoring it. And we'll check on it again tomorrow. But I won't let the stormy seas fill me in open water. Let me have my peace. And leave me till tomorrow Wind into my sail Away from things I let go Floating on the waves 